57 no and 65 is there? No, 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 no. No. Yeah? Okay, I don't know, but uh, okay, right now it's 70 and 77 right now. Yeah, it's going to be 77. Yeah, but still in 75, I, uh, there is, okay, there is a ranking, but maybe like three or four. I'm ranked as well, but I have never pulled. Uh, in East versus West. Yeah. Do you want to pull here? I will pull in Orlando. Here today? Okay, you're pulling in Orlando. Who are you pulling in Orlando? Justin Bishop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hey, do you remember that match in... Uh, in, where was it? In Vegas. In Vegas, 2013 probably you're talking about. Yeah. It's the first time I met him. Yeah. You came back and won. Yeah. Yeah. But he got you the one time. Yeah. For sure. I, I didn't expect, I, I thought he's some, uh, some beginner from Alabama. Oh, no. I didn't know him. You know, it's interesting. Um, back then, we were doing the, the, the old strap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he got the good side. And I know, and I knew how good his hand was, and I was like, "Ooh, he might get him right now." And I think you had a tough match beforehand too. Uh, not really, not really. I had some, but not not too tough, not he too a, tough. He had a tough awakening when he landed. <laughs> when he landed. Yeah. Yeah. No, you remember all the story. It was supposed to be oh. World Bar oh. Arm Wrestling Championship. Of course. And uh, and uh, me and Jean went, and we were already were counting our money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. And and you go and you. Okay, event is cancelled. Yeah. It will not happen. And then like we lost our motivation oh. and, and because I thought there will be no competition at all. And then at the very last moment, Bill Collins, uh -huh. uh, Robert uh -huh. came together, set up this uh, tournament. Yeah. So motivation was <clears throat> mm. you, did, did you pull at all? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, you and Oleg Jo. That's right. You and Oleg Jo. Uh -huh. Look at those videos. Uh, <laughs> and but the thing is you pulled Oleg after he Pulled in my class, right. in John's Brazen class, yes. in Todd's Hatchings class. Uh -huh. I know. He won all of them. I know. I know. All he was them. so that day, that day, right? So with me, you know, I knew it was um, the tournament was sketchy to begin with. So I waited to buy a ticket, waited to buy a ticket, waited to buy a ticket. It was like five days out, and I'm like, okay, mm. I buy the ticket. Like as soon as I buy the ticket, Michael Todd calls me up and he's like, did you buy a ticket yet? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm not going. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, I just don't got a good feeling about it. And like, he didn't get his ticket bought or anything. So Marvin Cohen was like, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So we were all in Vegas. Uh, I pulled, so I, I, that was just after I got surgery, I think. Uh, am I right? Like, am I right? Like two years or a year after? Mm, I think it was within within a year. Be because year before we pulled in Sweden and... Uh, was it a year or I, was it the same? I think it was a year before because 2012, I think we were pulling in uh, Sweden. Well, okay, but, but not, not it was that close long. enough yeah, that yeah. I wasn't arm yeah, wrestling. Yeah, I just yeah. pulled left. I only pulled left hand that tournament and I pulled in the open and then um, I was trying to get a match with Andre. Push Andre Pushka was there. But he didn't pull. Bortolo, uh, Bortolato. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to get a super match with him before and no, it couldn't work. And then I was like, okay, well I pull a tournament and then I didn't want to pull a leg. I didn't want to pull him. <laughs> who, who, who wants? <laughs> I didn't want to. I, I was like, they came over to me because I'd been asking for a super match all day. Robert Drank comes over, Devin, do you want to pull Oleg? Uh, and I'm like, no, no, I don't want to pull. It's <laughs> like, how about $1,000? And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to pull that kid for a thousand bucks. And uh, he's like, okay, okay. And then on the mic, on the mic, he's like, it was uh, some provocation. Yeah, uh, on the mic, publicly in front of, but does everybody want to see Old Leg Zock versus Devin Lair for $2,000? And I'm like, no, 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 no. And he's like, well, how about. Five thousand dollars, and like I was like, mm. <laughs> "All right, okay, yeah, yeah." Good times. Yeah, he's good. Oleg is so good. I think we were talking about this earlier today, and um, and I thought that Oleg was the best pound for pound left-handed puller that we've ever seen. That's what I said. But but uh, even even no, he should be considered as one of, uh, definitely, even now. Even like now. At, at, his, at his weight category, okay, Tom's won him one fight this year in Europeans, but like at his category, he's almost never losing. And that's after the accident. Yeah. And, right? st and still, before that? Yeah. 
Yeah, before, but, but people say that Alizan is better, pound for pound. A lot, like a lot of the discussion today that we were having, they say no, Alizan is even better, pound for pound. We, we, prob probably, we, we will, we will, we will uh, quite soon, we will see that. Where, where Alizan stands, when, when we could see Alizan against uh, Matoshenko, Alizan against uh, maybe Morozov, Alizan yeah. maybe against Vitali. Yeah. That could show us something. I, I ask you a question. It has to do with this event. Really, for me, it's very exciting having Travis come back. For no me, question. no questions. Super no cool, questions. right? Love him or hate him, but he, we need arm wrestlers, personalities like like uh, Travis in our sport. We need them. We need them. And, Absolutely. And I'm excited about uh, tomorrow. I'm excited yeah, to see too. what he can do. And one more thing: if we talk about super heavyweights, uh, okay, last. Like you, you were kind of last hope from yeah. from Western world or, or from uh, Northern America or, or I would say Western world that someone could 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 fight Levon or all the best East European or European athletes right now. Okay, okay. You you said you're going. That's it for you. You're going to lower weight categories. You had some rest. Maybe you will rec <laughs> rethink about that and and you will do it again. But why not Travis? Why not, Why not Travis? Travis? Why not Travis? Now, I'll say uh, that the right hand, Travis is very good. And, you know, we talk about personality and charisma with Travis, but that's actually the arm wrestling. Like, I think that there is a chance that Travis can be left hand number one in the world. Yeah. I think, both right? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe, but smaller chance. Hmm. Uh, against Levon is, is difficult. It's, do, do you think that uh, Travis from uh, 2000, like I would say beginning of 2000, middle of 2000, uh, that Travis could still be somewhere in the top three in the super heavyweight ranking I nowadays? I think that, you know, I followed Travis very closely. Very cl he was all I always considered him my competition, and I feel like I watched him very closely. And in my opinion, the best Travis that we ever saw was the 2016 WAL Finals. Dave Cheffy? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It, it was, was a few, few weeks after yeah. his father died. Yeah. He was, yeah. nobody was close to him. Yeah. He, Jerry Cadrat, you know. Yeah. I remember I talked with Travis that day before competition and he came and he said like, I will win. I will just destroy everyone. And I said, left arm. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm talking about right arm. Yeah. And I said, like, but this Dave Chaffee in class, he's like. He murdered everybody easy. that day. That day he murdered True. everybody. True. And that was a big tournament. Yeah. It was an important tournament. And Dave, that time, Dave, he was, he was somewhere, somewhere like very close. It was just a few years after. That's okay. That's okay. So we got cut. Yeah. We and that's who's race fault? Yeah, it's definitely race fault, right? We talked already about every fight. This is East versus West, unlucky number 13, okay? <laughs> if there ever was an East versus West that was unlucky, When, when you talk for an hour or more and discuss and everything. You, you did so great analyze about every fight. We basically laid it yeah. all out there. Yeah, you, like, you, like, you said every wonder about arm wrestling, all details, like people could, could never imagine. And you, I, I feel like I learned more in this last 45 minutes than I have in the last 10 years. And we lost and all it's of gone. that. Uh, well, I guess we'll never get it back. It's like, it's like uh, one step back in an in a evolution of arm wrestling for vote. <sighs> <sighs> okay, all right, okay. So <laughs> I guess we were already past the part where we decided that we were going to legalize the Kings move, right? And you were in agreement with that, weren't you? Uh, I didn't write, I didn't sign. Oh, I thought you signed. Nah, no. I, I was still, we were discussing. Ah. But, uh, I, I, I get your point, but uh, I'm still... Okay, so listen, listen, let's say all of a sudden you have the ability to change two rules in arm wrestling. Hmm. I w okay, uh, ready, go. We don't need ready. Right, but they already do it like that, right? It's just a don't move, go, right? Right. They already did it. So your wish you was already granted. Ready. It's, our, it's just go. Okay. So you already got your wish. Good. Wish one. Okay. okay. That's all that matters, right here, right oh, here. This that's is that's how it should be everywhere in the world. Like, Absolutely. Like, what, what? You should be ready. Yeah. You've come all this way. You've plus, had... plus, they say when, when, you, when you're ready, don't move, and then you're going to 
No, but it's also, it's, we shouldn't use don't move. And no, then go. Then that no, that it's again, it's, it could be don't move, don't move, don't move even a hundred times. Doesn't and matter. Go. Yeah. All that matters is go. No. Otherwise, if we will put just don't move in a place of, of, of ready, just it's again be safe. ready, the go is coming. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's fun. I think so. Like from you? Uh, for me, uh, let's say I would get rid of the rule shoulder cannot cross center. I'd get rid of that. Mm. Yeah, you can cross center. For lightweights, it's not a problem. It doesn't matter for anybody. For no problem. No problem. No problem. You don't, you don't see it as an advantage? Oh, yeah. But if, but if you can do that? Uh huh. It's a big so, advantage. So, 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 so those uh, short 170 <laughs> well, centimeter I'm armor not, slabs, I'm not in it. Uh, you can, can try and, like, like me, me and Ray, like, whoa. Like, well, yeah, you, we, you can get a step. I don't mind if you step on something. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you should be allowed. Yeah. I don't see why you shouldn't be allowed. Like, like no, in, in it's, it's, there is no really danger about injuries. Uh, no, probably like as, especially especially at the if, if you talk level. about s safety. Okay, yeah, pro. safety. But I don't like to talk about safety so much when you're talking about a world title match. Pro, I feel like safety. Right. You know, like I don't like unsportsmanlike stuff. But for me, the safety concern with crossing the shoulder, like cross center. I mean. I think we should be totally prepared for that. Mm. And normally when the shoulder's crossing center, sometimes both guys go in and that's, you know, you have to watch the collision with the heads. Mm. But so long as there's no unsportsmanlike behavior, I think that that's totally fine. Um, and so often a guy is moving away and if he gets a little bit of pull, a guy kind of needs to follow, mm. you know, so he keeps his shoulder engaged. I would get rid of that rule. I, I think that that rule yeah. is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, could, yeah, there should be, but it's... Uh, not happening so often. It's not happening so often. Maybe, maybe more in heavyweights, in the middleweights, lightweights, it's not a problem usually. There are not so many who can, who can get in that position so far. Yeah. What, what about laser for start position? What do you think about laser? Uh, or, or even if, if the rule with, with, uh, el with shoulder on center is still that even like laser lines that we see that, okay, shoulders po forward and there is some <laughs> laser on your shoulder. Yeah, I think that that's easy, fine. Easier for I don't think that that, I wouldn't object to that. Mm. I think that that makes it very easy to have a laser, but, but um, no big deal. And yeah. the thing is, one of the things that I, I, I like about arm wrestling is that you can kind of do it everywhere and that's going to be hard to replicate. You know what I mean? Like I can see it being done, you know, here or at a major competition, but it's going to be hard for people to practice with lasers and, yeah. you know, meet it to, you know, it's going to make it. Competition is just easier for referee and, sure. and probably, probably. I have no problem with that. I think that's great. Yeah. Approved by me. Yeah. Just, just like it's fair for both. I feel like we need more than two rule changes. I feel like it's all just spewing out of us now. I don't know what's, what's, what's going to come now. Um, <laughs> so I like. Uh, have you ever heard of the consent rule system that I was trying to push for a while? Yeah, I have heard something, but so, you can so introduce we, we, me. So we try and get our grip, okay? <laughs> At any point, I have a little button, okay? And I push my button. So you both are happy and referee ready to go. go. If refer referee sees re like green, two. Two or lights. Or anything. Why need two. referees? If you both press the button, shouldn't there be just like a sound? Mm -hmm. We could do that. Because it's better, like... Yeah. You, so... You, so so we are standing and just when the sound is... Yeah, we could do that too. We could do that. That would be but like... But, but the thing is, I think it's fine for a referee to see the lights say go as well. Mm -hmm. Either the referee, can, the referee can say go if there's two lights or it, you can... Ref as less as possible. Yeah, you can make it automated. You can absolutely have you, make have it Have you tried that? We've been messing around with it for years. Mm -hmm. We've done tournaments like that. It's been very successful. Very mm -hmm. successful, yeah. Uh, yeah, we call it cons consent system. Yeah, and it, it works great. It works very well. Find some easy word, Ray. Consent. Consent. Yeah, it's not Consent. easy for me. No? <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like some, I don't know, uh, you can traf call it traffic whatever. light. Or <laughs> we'll, call it, we'll call it the Yanis start. Uh, yeah, I, I could remember that. Yeah. Green light. I could remember yeah. that. <laughs> I would also, I would also, and I know that this is the hardest rule for me to pass ever, and it would be, I would approve the King's move. I would. I would approve it um, at the pro level. I would mm. approve it. And the reason why, the thing is, is people talk about why are there rules, you know? And I'll say, in my opinion, to my best understanding, the rule was created initially because of safety, because it was a hyperextension. 
will it ever happen in organization with such a leader as Engin Terzi? Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I always bug Engin, and he says, you know, in his dying breath that he will, he will. Uh, he probably already like <laughs> yeah, yeah, some yeah. hiccups, of, <laughs> right? When he, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. we talk about that, yeah. But uh, if we would ask that question for a community of armors, yeah. like I don't mm -hmm. know, we take. Uh, I've asked uh, the question five. many times on my YouTube. Like I that's, do YouTube. That's your followers who, who, are, who are watching all those. That's, it's, it's, that's true. Pro that's probably true. If, if we would ask for uh, Michael Todd's followers, we would get the same answer. Uh, you know what? Listen, the interesting thing about it is I asked my followers about a year and a half ago, mm. and it was about 60% to 70%. I have to go back and look, but it was massively in favor of not changing the rules, keeping the king's move as a foul. Mm. Yeah. Okay? And now... I just did a poll about a week to 10 days ago. That's weird. It changed. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. some advertisement and then and, and some he discussions. Does know. and he does know. Look, it, here's the thing. I make the argument, and, and listen, I don't even like to talk about it. Levon is a champion. Levon, in my opinion, is the best. He's the best, okay? I don't think anything would have changed. Yeah, or, or 2025, new rules, new champion? I don't want to talk about, I don't, there is maybe a small part of me that is doing this for me, but I'll tell you that quite truthfully, I've seen, I've just seen Kings Move Arm Wrestling a lot. I've, I've seen leagues, mm -hmm. Arm Wars for example, they don't have a Kings Move foul. Mm -hmm. They don't. Um, I like Kings Move Arm Wrestling in, I, the, in the mix. I do understand and I, I do appreciate that most often, those fights where our kings move involved, they are quite fun. Long. And, and it's interesting how another arm wrestler, will he find a way right. ar around that? And, and it's, it's not like it's a... Uh, I, I see it as advantage for that arm wrestler and, and maybe not always very uh, fair, but for me still it's fun. Right. Now I agree with you. So with if that. it's like about entertainment. It is about entertainment for sure, but I also think like the reason, in my opinion, that the foul was initially created, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about for East versus West, I'm talking about the reason that we first started talking about this is a foul. It's a it was a dangerous position. Okay, foul. okay, lay down, put your, put your shoulder yeah, down. Yeah, we know what's show, going show on. Show me, show yeah, me. Right, so for me, it's... Look, look at yeah, it. Yeah, look at it. Big difference. I, so I so if, if, you, if you are able to keep your shoulder and body in that position, someone have to break your arm to win you? It, no. That's not, and see, this is a misconception. Otherwise, otherwise, I would have never lost a match the last couple of years, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I can, I can do that, right? But it's not. It's like you get an arm bar. You can't just stay there. You're gonna, your arm's gonna, you will break your arm. Yeah. Right. So, so it's not about. For me, it's um, everybody when they arm wrestle. I don't care if you're arm wrestling in a hook, in a top roll, in a post, in a king's move, in a press. There's danger. Mm -hmm. It's all dangerous. And I make the argument that there is no higher degree of danger when you are in a king's move. I have not seen a whole bunch of king's movers get injuries more than top rollers or hookers. Mm. I haven't seen it. I think that it's quite actually quite a safe move when done correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so... It's not, for me, it's not a safety rule. Like if everybody was breaking their arm, blowing their bicep in a king's move, I'd be like, okay, can't do king's move unless you're at a pro no, level. It's absolutely true. When I watch to Michael Todd, my, I, he have my sympathies and uh, I see the dedication and what he is ready to sacrifice to win a fight. Right. And he's, he's every time in a position that he's in a danger and, and that's how much he wants to win, right. how much he loves the sport. And that's, right. it's a... Uh, it is crazy, and, uh, and it's professional sport. I also hear the argument. This is kind of the argument that, you know, Engen is pros, and I, I wish he, I'm sure we'll have the conversation again, but, uh, you know, that it's an unfair advantage. Hmm. But for me, I don't like that argument because everybody can do it if they want. Hmm. Everyone can do it. And, you know, we all have unfair advantages. He has a bigger hand. He has a stronger bicep. He has a stronger shoulder. I, I'm good in the king's move. He's good in the flopper's press. And I don't think, for me, I don't like that we put constraints on what an arm wrestler can do. For me, elbow on the pad, you know, this is a rule. But, but you're talking about also 
one more thing, time to time, is sumo arm wrestling. Freedom, oh yeah. Freedom. I, right, so I know that that's probably the last step for me to push like big, but I like that. I'm a huge fan of freedom arm wrestling, Japanese arm sumo. I think that it's more technical. I do. Yeah. I think... What about start position? What about start position? Is it possible to, to, to put that it's quite fair or, or, yeah. or, or fair for both? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They mm. start in the middle of the table mm. and they, they have little dots where they kind of indicate that the elbow should be, but mm. there's, there's, there's freedom. Um, but yeah, it starts in the center of the table, uh, which is really, in my opinion, that's the most important piece, starting mm. in the middle of the table, shoulder square, uh, wrist straight. Same, it's the same, really. Mm. There's not a lot of you change. You see more tactical? Should, well, that's the thing. So in my mind, when you have a greater playing surface, for the elbow. Every time you make the elbow pad bigger, in my opinion, the, the amount of technique required goes up a little bit. Okay? So you have more place to play, you have more options, you have more things you can do. So I think the bigger you make the elbow pad till the whole table is the table as is, is the pad, for me, I think more technical. And also, the lower the pin is, um, the longer the match, the more technical. Now, I, I know everybody's like, oh, Devin, you're doing this because, because you, this would be good for you. Well, it's, it's true, but I also, I also li really actually like it better. Mm. I, I, I find the matches are more entertaining. I find that there's more, more option. It's What's more about safety? I think that there is, it's, it's like double-edged sword. So lose, lose or give up or you're just your biceps will rupture. Exactly. But isn't this the constantly the choice in arm wrestling? Like it's it, that, that, yeah. that, that, that question doesn't change. Lose or let your body break. I mean, now there is a further degree that you can play. So you have more offensive capability, but you have more defensive capability as well. So I'll tell you, I went to arm sumo championships in Japan. I didn't see an injury. Didn't see an injury the whole day. Mm. Uh, we've played, we've had freedom tournaments. Nope. No. It, it, for sure, like, you can do more damage to a guy, but for sure, you can play defense better also. So, it's, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. yeah. What, what about how to, if we still talk about rules and yeah. the arm wrestling, and what about setup? How, 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 how well, is it possible to make setup faster? Right. If we could start the fight, uh, you, you know how long it takes, and, yeah. and uh, I know that uh, we are using that very often, the guys who are <laughs> endurance enough yeah. and, and, and smart enough. And mm -hmm. It's hard to fix. Uh, I, I think that the... And it should be fixed, or...? Well, it's, it's difficult, um, especially with something that makes sense, you know? Uh, I've heard a lot of crazy ideas on how to, how to solve the problem, but it's got to kind of really make sense. I, I like the consent option, because... Whenever you, I feel like the most important thing to get right in a match when you start it is a fair start for mm. everybody. A fair start yeah, yeah. Um, is very important. And the thing is, is sometimes you win or lose a match and you walk away from the table and you feel like you didn't get what you wanted. So in a perfect scenario, I accept the grip. I push the button. I can't complain. If yeah. I push that button, I yeah. can't say I got screwed over because I pushed the button. Mm. So for me, this is perfect. But in terms of, you know, there's still going to be a lot of people who will not push the button. They won't be able to get a start. So you need to get, I think, a set grip. Mm -hmm. I think that's the easiest way, the way that we do it. Close the thumbs, close the hands. Yep. And, you know, try and not let it move off center. There's going to be loading. We have to accept that there's going to be loading, I think. It's just otherwise, you know, we go to a system of like a, a WAF ref's grip and there's just too many fouls. Because people will, I think we need to let the yeah. athletes do a little bit, so, but we can't let it move off center. As far as it more or less safe for both. Yeah. And that's, that's the most important. Yeah. Yeah. I think the set grip is the best thing we have. Mm. Yeah. Because we have to understand it's combat sport, mm -hmm. it's tactical, and, yeah. and in combat sports always, it's not only strength. So there will be some, someone who's trying to get some advantage. Both. And both. Both, both are trying. Both are trying. Both are trying. Yeah, it's combat sport, and, and fight starts well before, well before. ready to go, or just yes. go. Yes. Well before. Yeah. It's true. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with everything. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much change everything, right? Pretty much change it all. No so, pads. So, <laughs> yeah. So so basically, I'm saying freedom arm wrestling. <laughs> basically, basically, that's what I want. No king, no no king's move rule. No pads. N no shoulder rule. I don't know two square meters. 
Consent start. Yeah. Yeah. Every and, and go. And go. Go. Yeah. That's like right. just referee, like just let it go. Yeah. Just yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Good days. That's good. Good days. I'll never complain Future again. Future is bright. I'll never complain again and I'll pull Levon <laughs> in twenty thirty five. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is it, like eleven years later? Yeah. At sixty. Yeah. 60. He will be old as well. Oh, I'll be great. By then it'll be like this. <laughs> This will be, it'll be like, I, can you not straighten your arm? And it, no, and I need you to pick my ear and I need you to feed me yeah. and come with me to the washroom. <laughs> so yeah. so you, you will stand up before start and yeah. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Ready, go. 2000, what, 35? 2035. Go. Look out. Look ah. out. What, yeah. what do you think? Like, uh, we are 2024. Just, just speculation. 2025, still Levon, number one? 2026, still Levon? 27? What, 28? Now it starts to get interesting. Now it starts getting, because I feel like right now, the frickin' loudspeaker has gone off to the world. Mm. And the world sees this level. Yeah. Okay? And the thing is, so in my mind, Levon is just such a great champion. And what, one of the things that makes him a great champion is is athletes from across broad domains. Like, I don't care if you're a power lifter, if you're a basketball player, you can look at Levon and you know, you know he's very strong. Yeah. But what we know as arm wrestlers is he's not only just strong, he's an incredible arm wrestler. Exactly. So he's kind of the full package. Now, arm wrestling has gotten so much cooler that I feel like there's a level of athlete out there, big, big strong athletes that think maybe, maybe I can, but it doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Even for the, the greatest athletes in the world, even for the guys who are walking around 6'8", 350, lean plus, you know, big human beings who are athletes, hmm. you know, it's still going to take them a couple years, three years, yeah. you know. You, what about you? You still... No. Is that dream? Is that uh, no. you could be? The thing is, the problem with dreams is... Okay, when, right after you finished your fight with Levon, you said, okay, I'm done, I'm yeah. done. Right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Right now? We talked oh, talk yesterday, listen, we were listen. sitting downstairs. I know. We talked yesterday. I know, but I, somebody gave me something and I got a little bit talkative. <laughs> yeah. But that's the that's time when, when you start to talk for real yeah, and maybe what's, yeah, what's in your yeah, head is... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard for me. It's hard for me. It's hard for all of us here as athletes to, to walk away from these dreams, you know? But like, still, you have some belief in oh, yourself I, that I you can I, do this. I wish do I that. didn't. I don't want to. I, I'll tell you, I think that the sport is in such a good place with Levon as the champion, really. But the thing is, with, with all of us, we, there's a voice inside of us that wants to mm. fight, mm. wants to. But the truth is, is Le, it's like, you know, you climb the mountain. I'm climbing Everest. I'm trying, and I got whack right right down to the valley right down to the valley the valley's nice <laughs> it's nice in the valley um i i i feel like in life uh for a lot of people um you go out and you find something to fight or something to chase and at some point you get hurt you go home you lick your wounds you heal and it's not long before you start to think about going out and fighting again and yeah. But you, you, if you talk about mountain, you know, for Levon as well, mm. that place in the top of mountain is very mm. small. Yes. Air is very thin. It's very thin. Yeah, it's not easy. You have been, no. you have been up, you know. And that's why it's not I, easy to stay when, up. I, when I talk to Levon, um, I, I always want to encourage him not to feel the pressure. Because it's always the guy who's coming up is so hungry, you know. I think it's important that we give our world champions space. You know, like, like uh, any one of these guys who's defending their category, I feel like they should be given time, you know, time to reset, recover, and so that they can be their very best when they defend. When they're being asked to defend over and over and over, it gets hard. It's been good with Levon. Levon has been given, you know, a lot of opportunity to show up his best, show up his best. Um, will, will you, do, do you see that uh, the one who will beat Levon he is somewhere in top already in armor sling, or we will see some 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 new so names, my, new athletes, my, new guys. My assessment 
is there's not a lot of people who can do it. In the, in the current group. Name, name three people who you think uh, right now, after like a few years, could Morozo? Sure. Kurdecha? Sure. Hermes? But maybe. Travis? <laughs> uh, maybe. Right hand, maybe, maybe. Uh, low chance, look at These are all low chancers. Uh, Dzernov, low chance. Uh, Vitaly Leletin, maybe has the best chance. Uh -huh. Maybe. But the thing is, is um, all of them, even Vitaly, if Vitaly put on another 20, 30 pounds, you know, strong, you know, like still underdog mm. to me, still the underdog. Um, I th and that's why I say 2028, maybe, when it's going to be somebody from the outside, somebody who is right now is like 20, 22 years old, big, athletic didn't quite make the uh, NFL or didn't quite make mm. the NBA um, or just some just monstrous human being who is in love with strength. This is the guy. Mm. This is the guy who will show up and you'll be like, okay, this is serious human being, serious human being. That's what I, I don't think it's going to be one of our own right now. Mm. I don't. Maybe. And I hope I'm wrong because I love it when it gets changed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's true. It's uh, like when, when someone, someone uh, says that Levon is unbeatable, it's always a question of time. We, yeah. we, we know history. We know yeah. it's, it's always, always so you can be as great champion as, as, as you want, but uh, always well, what there do you will think? be someone. What do you think? I can't agree. I can't agree with you. It's just a question of time. Yeah. I don't know when, but it's, it's could, it could be maybe, maybe sooner. It could be a little bit later. We don't know. Mm -hmm. It's also about... Uh, Levan's motivation, yep. Levan's general health, injuries. There are so many factors we, we don't know. And that's why I would really like to see Levan continue to take time in between matches. Like, take a good break. Don't let the tempo become yeah. your enemy. Yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. I, More I, often he will pull? Yeah. The biggest chance? Yeah. He needs, I think it's very important and to, to, to be like, this is the world champion, the number one. He has to be given the time, the understanding that we don't stack on him. No, no. Even playing field every time. Even playing field. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We are in Istanbul, East West, 13. Mm. Five minutes. What? Press conference. Press conference. Oh, damn. Really? Well, we should probably go. Then it's, it's okay, yeah. What time is it? So then we can, yeah, we will talk about East West. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Another East time. West 13. So we, it's <laughs> got the press conference coming up. Yeah. Hey, it was good to chat with yeah, you, buddy. Yeah, uh, we can look a bit, little bit maybe about, or it's enough. We should. Whatever you want, five minutes. Like, uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, much you are looking really forward, most. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I've got my eye on the division that I'm probably going to pull in, the 105. Because so, of your personal interest. Yes. Yeah, but I think it's going to be, look, it, there's so many good matches. But yeah, that mixed with, you know, my likelihood of pulling the 105 kilo class, David Dadikan, Oleg Petrenko, uh, Prudnik, and Arakli. These, these four guys, these two matches, for me, very important. Yeah. yeah. And do you see that any of those guys could give you a close fight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember Prudnik did already. Yeah. Prudnik's good. But you were in control. Yeah, but So not if he easy. considers that Prudnik is right now top yeah. guy, mm -hmm. so yeah. it could be like bright time for you in a yeah. 105, I 105, like the class. 115, I like the class. I think that, you know, what I realize is as you go lighter, it doesn't necessarily get easier. Hmm. You know, like, you know, like I don't think that there's an easy class to win. It's not a question about easy, but it's maybe safer for your arms. It's maybe yeah. better for your general health. Yeah. For, for, sure. for, for, for your yeah, longevity, yeah. you can talk that you can still be very active and, and enjoy sport and be successful. Yeah, that's what I think. Mm. I think all those things. And I do think that I, my, probably my first match back, I'll probably try to go right for the top. I'll probably yeah, go, yeah right, for, right for a title shot, whether it's... Daddy Can or Petrenko or Michael Todd or 
Whoever ends up having the title at 105 or 115, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be pulling sometime around the time when you are, who knows, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like if you are long enough for sport, in a sport, you, you start in lightweight, <laughs> so, so maybe yeah, one day, no, no. Yeah, yeah, It's who going knows? so slowly for me. I'm going the other way. I'm now on my way down. So we will meet yeah, somewhere yeah. in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 85 kilo maybe, yeah. You will look terrible in 85, yeah. I, I can, I can. Be great, be great, yeah. <laughs> but feel great. Oh, so good, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, um, yeah. We, we have to finish up because yeah, press conference go. after a yeah. few minutes. Good to catch up with you, buddy. Yeah, looking Thank you. good as always. I can't wait to see you crush it. I'm sure you will. Same. same.